that you saw or you witnessed from Kobe? Because obviously, like I said, to, to yeah. be able to see him in his infancy stage, embryonic stage of his career, yeah. um, mm-hmm. and have that talk with Kobe and then see it unfold the way that it did. Obviously, like, we as fans, we saw so many highlights, so many games, and either one game or one moment, moment kind of sticks out in our heads. What is What moment sticks out are you probably most proud of you know, with Kobe? And I know that's probably like tough. Yeah, it, mm-hmm. it is, but it's really two that, that come to mind like right away. Number one was uh, watching him watch Gigi play basketball. Mm. Wow. You know, that was it. Just watching him. Because he would chills. tell me, you know, because he would bring her to practice and he was like, Coach, she's like me. Mm. And I was like, wait a minute. We, we got a, a, a miniature mama <laughs> right, right, with right. a skirt? You yeah, know what right. I mean? Mama in a skirt. He's like, she got my mentality. He, she going to be wow. a beast. And as we were talking, she's on the court shooting and playing. And I would look at her and I was like, whoa. You know, mm. so... I remember he went to one of her AAU games, and probably a week before that game, he was teaching her to step back. Mm -hmm. Boom, boom, step back, jump shot, right? So during this game, she stepped back, bam. Mm. Came down again, stepped back, bam. And and Kobe was sitting there, all of a sudden he did one of these, you know? Proud, (laughs) proud Just a proud dad, you know, watching his girl Mm. learn and take the advice that he was giving her and applied it. And t- have it you know come into fruition right, right in You could front tell of how proud he was mm-hmm. of her. Mm-hmm. And that right there, I was just like, I, I mean, yeah, I, I almost started crying because I got a daughter right. you know, and I got kids, but just sitting down there talking to him and watching her after practice and the way he would go out there and work with her and then to see it come to fruition, mm-hmm. I was like, wow. It was just an unbelievable moment, you know? Mm-hmm. And then number two, obviously, you know, for me is the last game, 60 points. Mm-hmm. You know, because that game started off rough. What? They I mean, he was real. like 0 for 7, 0 yeah, for 8. I... And I can remember just standing up, and I'm sitting there, and I'm watching it. And as he's going up and down the court, he missed another shot. You know, he come down, he missed. I was like, damn, I don't want Kobe to go out go this out way. Like, <laughs> right, right, <laughs> right, right. You know what I'm right. saying? That's all I kept saying to myself. I don't want him to go out this, this way. And then he got fouled. He was, goes to the free throw line. He hits a couple of free throws. Comes down, hits a jumper, and then he started rolling. Started heating up. Oh, man, he started rolling. So, you know, taking him out in the second quarter, you know, I was like, I, I'm going to play him a lot. You know, I mm-hmm. said, but I got to give him a rest in this first half. Right. Mm-hmm. In the second half, I was like, you ain't coming out. You <laughs> it's know? all so, you. So, yeah, you're going to play the rest of this game. Mm-hmm. And I remember with six minutes left, I looked up, he had 40. Mm-hmm. I was like, damn. Right, right. You know, but he was on the bench. And T.O., when I mean, he was. <laughs> oh, he was laboring. He was hurting. But he wasn't going to stop, though. And I went to him, and I said, all right, six more minutes left in this game. And it's just like it's only me and him. Every, you know, play, I got my board, <laughs> but it's really like me. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. I said, KB, you got six more minutes in that body of yours? Absolutely. No, this, you, you, mm. you said that last six minutes, it was just you and him? Yeah. You just told us at the beginning of the show, when y'all start out, it was just you just and him. Just me and him. Mm-hmm. It yeah, was you and you're him right. Again. Me and him. That's just crazy. me and him. And it, it, it came full circle. Right. You know, That's 20 awesome. years later. Awesome. It came full circle, you and, and I'm looking at him, and he, I said, you got six more minutes left in that body of yours? He said, absolutely. Absolutely. Went out there and just, you know. And, and again, you know, us as coaches always trying to make everybody think that we got all these the special knows. plays right, and all right, that right. shit. Man, we would come to the bench. I was like, all right, Kobe, where you want it? I so. Catch it. Y'all get the hell out the way. way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I get said, him out the way. I said, unless he call you, you know, and Julius, I said, hey, JR, unless he call you to set the so pick and roll, then y'all get the hell yeah, out the way. You, still go stand he set the, the pick, Kobe come off, bam. Man. So, and then Kobe would just call him up, come on back, you know, bam. And so that moment for me, especially at the end when he walks off the court, because he, he, he walks off with Shaq, mm. he hits, he hits uh, Gary V, mm. then he hits me. Mm-hmm. He gives me the biggest hug, and he says, I love you, coach. You know, and I was, awesome. you know, awesome, you know, just, it, it was a special, you know, I'll, wow. I'll never forget it. Absolutely. You know, uh, and then out. his speech, yeah, yeah, then his speech, you know, and then not only the speech to the crowd, but the speech in the locker room to the guys was, mm. he said, listen, I, I, I'm leaving this game with no regrets because I gave it everything I got every single night. He Absolutely. said, I didn't take plays off. Absolutely. And that That's right awesome. there, I was just like... 